and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 to win another car from the festival playlist. So this week the new vehicle that's available is the Lamborghini Huracan Performante um, which is easily the most exciting of the, the four new cars we're getting because um, obviously we had the Hummer last week um, but yeah the most exciting of the four cars we're getting um, in this series or season or whatever they call it in Forza. Um, <laughs> But yeah, autumn season, the new car is the Lambo. Obviously last week we had the open top Hummer. Um, next week we're getting the MRE 356C Porsche. And then in spring, we are getting the Toyota, old Toyota thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, the Lambo is easily the one I'm most excited for. Uh, I know we've had the Hurricane in the game, and obviously it was back, back ages, way, way, way back. It was... A standard Hurricane was the cover car for Horizon 2. Um, so it's been in Horizon for a long time. Um, we're finally getting the Performante, which is a couple of years old now. Um, but yeah, it's not just a, a Hurricane with a wing on the back. Well, it pretty much is, but <laughs> it's upgraded in several ways and visually it's just so much nicer. Um, and obviously it held the Nürburgring uh, Nordschleife lap record for a while. Uh, until is it the Porsche GT2 RS beat it, or it beat the GT2. Anyway, Lambo and Porsche were fighting over the record, and basically uh, this held it for a while. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and win that, which we need to get 50% of the whole season for. Uh, unlike the Hummer last week, where we only had to do one championship, we do have to get half of the season. I have already got 24% because we've done these. Um, but yeah, I need to... Oh, there's an SV again. That car used to be rare, now there's millions of them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to jump in, do some of these challenges and series, uh, win the Hurricane Performante, and then I'll be back to test it out, see what we can do to it, and have a good look at this new car, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, but actually, one thing, quickly, before I go and do that, um, as always, we should quickly check the Forzathon shop, which has a Levante, and uh, a Berlinetta in it. If for whatever reason you don't have either of those or want either of those, they're not particularly cars I'd go for. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and win the Performante and join you to test it out once we've got it. So here it is, the 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Uh, so four years newer than the original Huracan, which is over here, and the 2014 car, which was of course on the cover of Horizon 2. Um, so we're S1900 um, over the original car. Um, I know this one's stock because I used it for a video testing uh, all the cover cars from the previous games uh, in their stock form. Um, so that's 866 stock and this is 900. Obviously both all-wheel drive. Um, the Puffmante is slightly slower on the top speed because um, basically it's, well it's got all the, the um, aero stuff on it to make it go faster around tracks um, so yeah it's not going to be quite as fast um, but every other stat is at least as good um, acceleration is better handling's better um, but anyway let's jump straight into it see what it's like completely stock and then go and see what upgrades and customization are available uh, not expecting any customization other than the falls of bits um, but we'll be able to paint the car and whatnot and see what upgrades are available. Um, but are we ready for the first? I love those those exhausts that they've moved up, look. Because um, in the original car they're down lower. They've changed the sort of back end, obviously the big wing, uh, and all these carbon bits around the side, and the very important Italian flag there. Um, and the gold wheels. And they've also painted orange instead of yellow, which is a huge improvement. No, I, I quite like the yellow, to be honest. Not sure what colour I'll go with, with this, but we'll see when we get back to the garage. Are we ready for... See, um, I know I've said this in a lot of videos, but I actually prefer the V10 sound. Uh, the V10 Lambo sound to the V12 Lambo sound. I mean, 
The V12 sounds nice, obviously, but yeah, anything with a V10. Makes that kind of noise. We all know the Carrera GT and the LFA, obviously. Ah, oh, the best sounding V10s, but the Lambo ones are pretty good. Which, of course, are also the engines in the Audi R8. And the Tal Design Zero Uno. I think that's. Looks particularly good in the orange in autumn, doesn't it, with all the trees matching us. Um, but yeah, Zero Uno, R8, this. I'm sure there's some other cars that share that platform now. So I can hear. Oh, look, we've got the orange stitching. Might have to leave the exterior orange, otherwise it's going to clash with the stitching. I mean, I'm, I don't mind doing that. Well, maybe to paint it green with green stitching. Oh. But yeah, I do love this car. I don't know why it's taken so long to get it in the game. It's in the Pro 2, it's in Assetto Corsa, I'm not sure what other games it's in. Um, but it's in, it's definitely in other games and Sims. So I don't know why it's not. I don't think Gran Turismo had it yet. Yeah, I don't know why Forza took so long, because obviously they have Lambos, they have the license. I don't think there's ever really been a licensing issue with Lamborghini. And the original Huracan, like I said, was the cover car, so. I don't really know why that took long um, to get this car in the game, but we've got it now. I'm quite pleased. Um, and admittedly, it's probably not... In the world of Forza, in real life, it's a lot... There's a lot over the standard Hurricane by having this at Manta, but in the world of Forza, I don't think there's that much difference. You could upgrade the standard one easily anyway. I think it's probably the, the look of it more than anything. Because um, the standard one is a bit dated, this is just a bit more aggressive, got a bit more to it. Um, obviously, in real life, the performance gain is pretty huge, and stock on here, it's going to be it's going to be quicker. Um, but just driving it there, you wouldn't you wouldn't know. Um, but anyway, I do still love this car. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do to it. So if we go straight into custom upgrade yeah I thought so we've got the hideous Forza bumper and that's bigger than the Forza wing normally is but it's horrible what have we got in terms of engine swaps we've got a V12 and a racing V12 so I think that'll be the Lambo V12 and that's I don't know what that is I don't know why you'd want to put that in and what do we have we can make it a rear wheel drive hurricane um, which of course does exist, but not in performante form. Can we twin turbo it? Yes, because I know a lot of people do that to their... It's quite a common upgrade, you can fit turbos in the back there. So that's something to possibly try at some point. Um, what have we got? We can put some nice tyre writing. Do my, <laughs> do my standard mods that I always do, uh, standard visual mods. Bring out the bring out the wheels, do the tyre writing. I will change the suspension and lower it. Because there's a massive gap between the wheels and the car on this for some reason. Uh, and then we will look at um, the community designs and maybe change the colour. We'll look we're into S2 already. So yeah, not sure what I'd use this for. I mean you might be able to use it for S2 race, maybe? Or S1? could build it to either of those. Obviously it starts all-wheel drive, so you don't have to worry about the PI to do that. I won't do the weight reduction, don't normally mess with that. Because if I had one of these, I wouldn't strip out seats and things. I want to keep the, the nice Lamborghini interior. Um, but yeah, with those orange seats and orange calipers, I'm not really sure what colour to go for on this. I will install this setup and drop the suspension a bit lower again though. Um, and then we will have a look at the community and at the colours. Um, but yeah, 
given how orange the interior is, it's kind of hard to go with anything else. I almost think that's a shame. It's, there's really not many games you can you can change the interior trim on. I think of modern games, the only one I can think of is the Crew 2. Um, but obviously, Test Drive used to do it back. Test Drive Unlimited used to back in the day, which I really want to see a new one of those. Uh, right, designs and paints. Yeah, that'd be so cool if you could change it. Then, you, then I might go with a different colour. We've got the blue. We've got the green. We've got another blue. We've got purple. We've got grey. What is that? The DDE design. Super Trofeo. The matte red I like actually. Turquoise is pretty cool. I don't know who did that. I should be banned from fours of that one. Uh, right, I think we'll just go into standard. There is a dual. Hang on, before we go into anything. There is a dual paint option, so let's just see. So, group one's black, not black, dark grey, and group two is. Oh, that's cool actually. Group two is that bit. Is that bit not carbon standard? I think that bit's carbon, so I don't know why you'd want to paint it. Maybe it's not. Anyway, if I was going to go normal colours, I'd have to only paint group one, I think. Um, but unfortunately, we lose the, the all-important Italian flag. Which I think means we might have to go for a manufacturer colour. The red looks quite good and still sort of goes with the orange. I like that, and it's a bit unusual to see red on the Lambo. Uh, matte yellow. I'm not sure I'd go matte on yellow. Yellow yellow looks quite good, but then we've got the gold wheels, obviously. Green I would quite like on it, but with that orange interior, I don't know. The matte blue, this is the colour they launched the convertible performante with. Oh, I'd love to see that in Forza as well, actually. Matte black always looks so good. And then obviously we've got the white. Hmm. Matte black does look really good actually. I'm tempted to go with this. I'm not sure how it... I mean blue and orange, it's not a bad bad combo. But we've got the red brakes. Orange interior. Did I upgrade the brakes? Maybe that's why they're the wrong colour. Otherwise, red goes with the calipers. You know what? I'm going to go with the matte blue. It's my favourite colour. Doesn't necessarily go perfectly with the interior, but blue and orange is. I think it's better than green and orange, for example. Um, but yeah, I will just check if I did upgrade the brakes. And if that's why they're red and not another colour. It might have been red anyway, uh, in which case I'll leave it alone. Um, but yeah, then we'll head out with our customised car have another quick drive. I know we've already kind of tested it out, so it's not actually going to really benefit much. Oh no, there's no brake upgrades. There's no options to upgrade the brakes, but I think we'll stick with that. So if we include the stripe, we've now got blue, red, green, white, and orange on this car, and gold, because we've got the gold wheels. We've got blue, we've got red, white, green there, we've got the gold wheels, we've got the black um, like carbony bits, we've got the orange interior. <laughs> that sound. You know where we're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to go to the tunnel. And so let's head that way. I think if we just race down to the roundabout at the bottom here, take it through the tunnel quickly. do it for first look at the Hulk and Puff Mante. But what a car it is in real life. I do love this thing. Out of all the Lambos available, it's probably the one I'd go for at the moment. Out of 
the current range. Well, we don't count like the special editions and stuff, but often I don't like those. They're just a little bit too crazy. So something like this, which is actually a real car, is well, like feasible, feasible supercar, not something stupid that you can't drive anywhere and nobody can afford. I mean, it's still expensive this, but compared to those, it's. But yeah. I do like this thing, which is probably pretty clear by now. But yeah, I'd definitely say go and ah, go and get it if you haven't yeah, already. I'm not sure it'll be used for anything, but yeah, I might use it for some. I'd like to build it to use for some S1 or S2 races um, online. So I'm always looking for new cars to build for those. So, ouch. Let's go through one more tunnel. Another reason why I love this, I mean, obviously, you get a similar sound in the standard Hurricane. But yeah, what a car. I'm pleased they're adding some better stuff rather than small Renault hatchbacks, which seem to be. Oh, um, I definitely wasn't speeding. No, it wasn't me. But yeah, nice to have something that's not a small French hatchback for a bit of a change. You can catch me, Mr. Policeman. Ow. Um. Um. Yeah, I think we might have crashed trying to get away from the police. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for a first look at the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Um. So it's all downhill from here until the next update, I guess. Um, I mean, obviously we had the Hummer last week, and then the Lambo this week. Lambo, by far my favourite. Um, but yeah, even going forwards, I mean, the Emery 356 is cool. Um, quite quite excited to try that one. Um, and then in spring we're getting an old Toyota. I know it's a bit of a cult classic, a bit of an icon. Um, so that will be quite cool to try out, um, but yeah, it's not a personal favourite of mine. Uh, nor is the Emery, but I think that's a really, really cool um, version of the 356, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, the Hurricane Performante was by far my favourite of the four. Well, I haven't tested out the others yet, but it's by far the one I was looking forward to the most. Um, but yeah, really cool car. Uh, so make sure you go and get it if you haven't already. Um, but otherwise, uh, I'll be back same time next week to test out the Emery 356C. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll be back with the next video very soon.